Hey YouTube, this is a short video on how to solder switches, um, oh, basically. I always found it quite difficult to solder these little switches because, um, I don't know really, I used to end up wrapping the wire around the contact and uh, trying to solder it and never really getting very far with it. So. This is a quick guide on how to solder them up. Um, well, the best way I think to solder them. So, there's a few tools you'll need. Obviously, you'll need a soldering iron um, with a nice small tip on. Oops, got a bit of so bit too much solder on there. A nice small tip. Um, not too small, obviously, um, but you don't want a really big tip on it. Some. I'm using lead-free solder here. You don't have to use lead-free solder. Um, a soldering stand, of course. A sponge, so that you can clean your tip regularly on the iron. A set of helping hands, which will help you to hold the switch, because it does get very uh, hot when uh, soldering them, and uh, you won't, wouldn't want to be holding them in your hands and. Uh, can be quite difficult to hold them with a power of pliers while soldering. A set of wire cutters and finally a set of wire strippers. These were about a pound I think off the market or something. You can get better quality ones but uh, these do the job fine. Um, these are a few rubber sleeves which we'll be using to stop the contacts from shorting out or shall we say anything shorting with the contacts and this is the wire we'll be using it's a uh, ribbon cable out of an old off an um, old computer lead and it's split into I don't know whether you can see it three um, three wide and it's about six inches long so first of all we Put it in the uh, wire strippers like this, end on, and we cut say about five millimeters off, like so. Then we need to pair the three wires apart with our nails, which can be uh, quite difficult at times. Sometimes it's easier to. Uh, being careful not to uh, cut the strands of course just cut down the wires like that with a pair of wire cutters and then you can pair them back a bit like that same with this one here Then we need to twist, as you can see, the ends of these wires are very, um, well, they're all over the place really and they're quite difficult to solve. So if we twist them together, like so, on all of the wires. So now they're nice and neat. And then, if we clip them in the helping hands, which is basically just uh, crocodile clips on a flexible stand, um, as I say, not essential, but useful nonetheless. Get the soldering iron, put a little bit on the tip of the iron, and then touching one side of the wire with the iron, feed a bit of solder onto it and pull the solder like that bit too much on that one. Just pull a bit more solder off. Same on that one there. And that one there. And then take the wire out of the helping hands. And you'll now notice that they're all joined together. This is called tinning. Now what we need to do is just cut 
a tiny little bit off the end of each of the wires with the wire cutters <coughs> and this provides like an, a fairly short nice neat end to it then what we need to do is get some sleeves depending on obviously the size of the connection that uh, you're making um, depends on the size of the sleeves but I'm using some fairly small sleeves that are what a couple of centimeters if that long and I'm actually cutting them in half which uh, makes them just about the right length and then we might need to pair these back a little bit more we'll see put the sleeve over the wire for all three wires in fact. And as you can see they're all sleeved now. Now we get the switch and we clamp it in the jaws of the helping hands, making sure it's nice and secure. And we tin the same technique again all three contacts of the switch putting the solder in on one side, feeding a bit of solder in on the other side I can't recall if I mentioned at the start of the video but a uh, temperature controlled solder iron is very useful um, for doing a variety of different jobs. If the iron's too hot, then you're likely to uh, cause problems, and also if it's not hot enough, it won't melt the solder. So, um, a temperature controlled iron is very useful when doing things like this. And then, all we need to do, we'll just move this around a little bit. All we need to do then is hold notice I don't need to use any solder now because both connections are tinned hold the two next to each other whilst heating them up let them join together hold them in place until it sets and then it's just a case of pushing the sleeve up over the connection it's not quite uh, secure, there we go that's better same with this connection here. And finally, the last connection just here. Notice I don't have to use the helping hands to hold the wire because I'm not heating it up for a long period of time and I'm not needing to use another hand to apply the solder because the solder is already applied and then we just push these sleeves up over there and this middle one's going to prove to be a bit tricky I think there we go and that sleeve over there is still a little wall um, and there you have it, a nicely soldered and sleeved connection on the switch. Obviously the other end of the wire you'd need to do the same and connect it into your circuit or whatever it was connecting to. Um, and that's really all folks, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it and found it useful, and if you could rate, comment and subscribe I'd be most grateful. Thanks, bye.